like you can make like a like a mop water is that what it's called like a mop water what is it a soap a floor wash a floor wash god why did that take so long what's up guys this is kehlani and these are my 10 essentials my first essential is lip gloss it's funny because i don't have any lip gloss on right now so i probably should put some on and i don't have any makeup on besides mascara so bear with me there we go. Always clear. I don't like sparkles. I don't like pinks. I mean, a nude is kind of cool, like depending on, you know, how serious you want to get, but I don't really think that I'm much of a color lip type of person in general. Like it just gets so intense. I always keep lip gloss in my purse, in my pocket, in my car. There's definitely lip gloss in like the cup holder in my car. It's probably really hot right now, probably melting, and I should probably go get it after this, but it's there for sure. My next essential is Mountain Valley Spring Water. And this one, it says sparkling water because I ran out of this still and I despise sparkly water. Who likes spicy water? That's the dumb I ever heard of. Props to you if you do, you got a strong throat. Me, not so much. It's spicy water. That doesn't sound refreshing. It sounds painful. Your poor throats. God bless y'all. Actually, Mac Miller put me on Ma Mountain Valley Spring. I walked to his house and he had like the dispenser. And I was like, why is this the best water I ever had in my life? And he put me on the kind of water and we actually ended up getting a dispenser in the house. But on the go, you need the bottle ones. And they're glass so you can reuse them. And I think that that is really important for the environment. It's super important for me as a singer to have water on deck, but even more so as a mom. My baby is bougie. So all her, um, well, she's bougie as far as like this goes. She drinks Mountain Valley Spring Water from Jump. My next essential, let me put on my glasses for this because uh, getting in my director bag. My next essential as Hyphy Williams, the director, is my camera. This is one of my favorite essentials. This is my Canon EOS R. We shot my album cover on this camera. We shot all four music videos that are out, well, except for Toxic that was shot on my MacBook. But the last three music videos were all shot on this bad boy, front cover, back cover. Basically, the entirety of my last album is this camera. And every music video we continue to shoot after the ones that are out are also shot on this camera, which I picked up with Best Buy Curbside Pickup during the quarantine so that we could have really, really high quality videos. And also has the flip view. Pretty tight. This is a different kind of water. My next essential is Agua de Florida, Florida water, which is used for cleansing and protection of the space, of the self, of the item. It's kind of like a holy water. I mean, it is technically a holy water, but you can clean your altar with this, spray a little bit on yourself before you go somewhere. When um, the coronavirus started, we mopped all the floors with it. People had it a lot around me growing up, and then I smelled it once and was like, what is this? This smells crazy. It smells like a dude. It smells like like slightly different from um, like rubbing alcohol, but like a little bit off. Florida water, shout out Florida. Next <laughs> is the mini fridge. This mini fridge is for my face products. Nothing's in here right now because that's heavy, but this is where all my serums go, all the stuff that needs to remain in a cold, cool place. I'm a skincare head, so I thought that this would be cool. It just feels refreshing and it feels also like calming. Like if I have redness or my skin's like irritated then like a bunch of cold products going on it, I feel like is really soothing. My next essential, drum roll please, is Lalabo candles. If you know me, first of all, I'm a Taurus. You don't have to know me to know I'm a Taurus. I'm pretty loud about it. But that means that my entire life revolves around like the utmost level of comfort I can create. And also like the quality of the comfort. This is about the most high quality candle you could probably get. Actually, don't quote me because I'm sure there's some like super fancy rich people candles that I don't even know about that you probably got to be in like the Illuminati to like access the candle. But these are the ones. Okay, they're like 80 freaking dollars, but they make your whole house smell like a store, a good store, not a bad store, not like a corner store, not like a liquor store. You don't want your house to smell like either one of those, but if your house smell like a really nice, like clothing store, there we go. Top tier, chef's kiss. There's certain candle smells I don't like in certain places. 
Like I would never put like a sweet dessert smelling candle in my bathroom, that's awful. You gotta use one of those like ocean breeze in the bathroom. I also would never put citrus necessarily, I think in my bedroom. I think that's a little too like bright and invigorating for like the bedroom. Also, I don't like heavy dude smells. Like it just smells like a big, just like grown man has been chilling in my room. That's cool for the car, I get you a little black ice. You know what I'm saying? But not for the bedroom. I mean, I come home and I light my I light my candle. Like I just I just want to be immersed in the smell goods at all times. Like it really bothers me deeply when there's like an off smell in the house. Especially having a baby, you just know if you have a if you have a baby that isn't potty trained like I feel like you get phantom poop smell where like even if the baby hasn't just pooped, like you almost every every so often you're like, "Do y'all smell that? Is there poop somewhere?" Like you know, so it's pretty scary, but it exists, it's a thing. <laughs> my next essential is my new favorite game. It's called The End. This game is so tight. It's a bunch of cards that have all these questions on them that help you communicate like openly and freely and deeply with either people you're dating, your family, your co-workers there's like a we've been in a relationship for hella long obviously and now we're playing this version so in the dating one it says stuff like when was the last time you held someone what do you think is my biggest conflict right now when you look at me what do you see and like both of you guys have to answer the question but it's really cool because i feel like it's a prompter for conversations that some people are maybe nervous to have and i think that the family one is really helpful as well especially when you live in a house with your siblings it was actually my assistant's idea. She found it and sent it to me. It was like, I think you would love this because I just, I like to talk with people. I mean, everybody should. It's kind of how we're getting through all this together. So I just, I went kind of crazy and like bought almost every version of the game. But ever since I picked it up, I can't put it down. My next essential, and it's so important in this quarantine, is black seed oil, okay? It's disgusting. As a matter of fact, smelling it because the top is off is actually making me want to die. This is what you take like a tablespoon of every single day. And it's super good for your immune system. And I really have to hold the top of it because it stinks. Oh, it's on my fingers. It like burns a little bit, but it's so good for you. And I highly suggest everyone take some black seed oil every day. It's kind of one of those things that you always learn growing up if your family was into naturopathic response to body stuff like instead of going and grabbing a tylenol your mom would say you know do this or do this or take some of this just like fish oil oregano oil clove oil Ugh. they all disgusting but they're super helpful the more disgusting probably the better for you my next essential is my diaper bag Yeah, buddy. This diaper bag is the holy grail. I think the worst thing you could do is realizing you left and took the baby somewhere and left the diaper bag. Or you left and have the diaper bag, but the diaper bag isn't packed correctly. Then it feels like the whole world is crumbling and what are you gonna do? So inside my diaper bag, I have empty bottles. I have measured out formula. I have food. I have change of clothes. I have diapers, of course, wipes. Basically everything my child could possibly want and need while we're outside in the world. I think it looks really cool. It's a cool brand and has a lot of pockets. My next essential, and everybody who knows me knows I go through about 50 million of these a year. <laughs> it's a Mophie. First of all, I'm a mom, so my phone can never die. Like, Ever. It's just not allowed to die. What if I need to call someone? What if I need help? What if I'm gone and she's with her babysitter or she's with her dad or she's with my sister? Like they need to be able to get in contact with me at all times. My phone is not allowed to die as a mom. On top of that, I'm a working mom. My phone can't die when I'm in the middle of the booth reading my lyrics off my phone screen. My phone can't die when I'm like reading emails and responding to emails. You know, it just can't die. So these are super helpful and we just keep them charged up and usually someone holds it for me because I will probably set it down and lose it. If you like flip my house upside down and shook it and all the contents fell out, they would probably be like, and I'm ashamed to say it, but maybe possibly 30 Mophies in the cuts somewhere. They're not all this big though. This one's pretty intense. You do gotta remember to charge the Mophies, but you know who does that? My assistant charges the Mophies. Is if I didn't have an assistant, my phone would always be dead. My assistant is the best. She might be my last essential because truly, 
I would not be functioning as a normal human being if I didn't have her. And that's sad to say. That's sad. But I also do a lot of so. All right, thank you, GQ. Thank you for pulling up to my crib and checking out all 10 of my favorite, most essential essentials. And uh, see you on the flip side.